each and kills him with a double. Ryan will be securing the final one. That's five for syndicates. My game is still frozen. I don't know what's going on today. Why not try retrying? Reconnecting? Uh. Yeah, I'm back again. Alright. Olio and Diamond opening up for Team Exodus. And that's a 5 on 3 on their side right now. Five on three so far, and two defenders on this uh, on the A bomb side, and they have to hold this before the T's can do anything good, uh, do enough damage. Tatwar will not hold the line. Kyoshima is the only one on the side. He needs to get at least multiple two. Will not even get, or will only get one. Domi in a, not in a good position to retake this site. Oh, that's a fast play. Let me reconnect in a bit of time. I think I'm having trouble with my internet. I'll continue it until you come back as the double molotov will go towards the top of B. But they're not gonna do any damage and oh almost taken out by the opera of Exodus Olio getting a freebie but not hitting his shot. Banana control will go to the T side and the bomb will rotate back towards mid and CTs are playing a defensive so they do not uh, contest mid. They do not have any idea where what's going on from the side. Parrot playing the entry role will be pushed back by the Molotov, but uh, they have good enough map control to execute out of the B side. I think they're going to be going back and Ryokin fancying a push. He is fancying a push, but Pirate Pirate will hold the line. And that will push a rotation from Saki to go to the B side. Two on uh, five on four. Holy oh, with a nice shot on the Sakif. The B bomb side is completely open. Only one player, the Tommy, is the only one play, uh, holding the line. And Ryan will come back in with a flash of his own. That will make, uh, that will let Tommy peek, but he is spotted by Oliver. And Oliver will take that shot. Beautiful shot by him. Five on two right now. And Ryan completely flashed, smoked off from the side of the bomb. He's getting branded. This is not going to be a retake, it's going to have to be a save and Ryan should be getting out of there right about now. Yeah, he will go back, so it's going to be a 4th round for Exodus Lineage. Diamond would uh, will be would find Kyoshima if he pushed just a little bit, but uh, he's content with saving his AK and Kyoshima will be dropping an AWP for his team. There's gonna be another gun round, and Gamer Syndicate will be back onto the pie, but they need to come up with an answer because two rounds have gone towards Exodus lineage, and this will tie up the scores if they lose, and they will be forced onto an eco. A very crucial gun round to change the momentum of this game. Back and it seems like Exodus did really catch up. Back to four scoreline. And the pirate just, I, I think I just saw him burning into Crisp all year with a frag on the dummy. 
Makes a full on four right now. Four on four, the bomb is going towards middle and Olio trying to sell a fake for his team. The smoke will go for CT, that is a good smitty smoke. Finally a good CT smoke, but uh, Ryuken knows that nobody is actually pushing. It's gonna be an A side execute. And the thieves will go in, the smokes will go down. And Kyoshima goes onto the side road inside. It's gonna be a crossfire from pit and side, but the crossfire is broken down. Not a single frag goes through for Gamer sitting in an Exodus just completely annihilates defense. Sakim is the only one on the side. Nice shot by him, but that is uh, just a consolation killer. He has to save this AWP. So Exodus Lineage will be tying up the scoreline 5 to 5. Round number 11, 3 from Masses and 1M4 with the save AWP from Sakif will be everything that cities will have. They have a good uh, loss bonus to uh, facilitate this buy and Ryuken will be boosted up to the flower pot and should be left alone. No, actually Ryuken will be playing alongside him and the T's are getting some decent map control over to the A-bomb side. Just trying to, I guess, bait the T cities into no, uh, into a false sense of a map control. But the T cities are that gamer syndicate is playing pretty passive. They are not going to going for any aggressive peaks, and that will let the T's uh, wiggle around. Maybe set up an execute, and let's see what they decide to do. Maybe even go for a contact play or even a flash peak. Southward is in a position to flash for his teammate, and he will hear Kyoshima go back to the site. Saki is also holding this angle. They're going for a different setup. And the bomb is dropped towards the boiler. It's going to be an A side hit at the last moment. Saki will not be monitored off. That's a missed monitor, and that will be punished by his chief with the AWP onto Pirate. He will spot Diamond, but this is a shot down to 44 HP. But this time the monitor will not miss. He's down to 12 HP, almost taken out. But Kyoshima will get a kill. Oh, Kyoshima with a triple! What a spray down. And Olior is the only one remaining with the AWP. 20 seconds left. It's part of the player on the pit position. That's all he's gonna get. And he needs to run with this AWP. But look at Ryuken. He is in a good position to flank this. But Olior going to the apps should be able to save this. Two seconds and he will be taken out of the time. No, he will not. That's a really good reaction coming from him. Round number 12 and another four, full by round on the D side. Uh, um, oh, that's a good nade onto Hollywood. Down to 50 HP. Has the AWP still, so it doesn't matter if he's on 1 HP or 50 HP, he can still one hit, sh one hit anybody. Uh, considering he actually hits the shot. CTs are playing really passive, and I think Exodus should take this to their advantage. I mean, execute a site with a full of five men. 
that would be a bit of pressure for a gamer syndicate to hold on to the side. I mean, they're playing either 2B and 3A or 2A and 3B as well. Just playing full default. Yeah, full default. So the T's can actually take it to their advantage and do a five man execute, and that would be pretty advantageous to, advantageous to their side. And I'm not sure why they're not doing it. They are playing a slow game as well, and that's not going to be on their favor. And the clock is currently against them, 25 seconds. And there goes the Execute. Of course, Kyoshima will be getting that frag. Molotov's coming in, and for some weird reason, Gamer Syndicate has 3 men on B, and they are rotating right now. Saki with a very important kill, but the time is not on their favor, and the bomb is not going down yet. Kyoshima will be taking out Scorpion, and... Very liquid defense just let Gamer Syndicate bait the players inside, and they just got them through the crossfire. But hitting those shots was really important for us by Sakif. So a good round for Gamer Syndicate to take. That should have been an ex ex exodus this round. I mean, it was a two-man defense on his side, right? And still a full four-man execute did not cut it off for them, so might just be problematic for them in the upcoming rounds but they still have a buy probably the last one if they lose and that's not a good short smoke is it that's why right. another smoke has to land there and molotov is going to keep them at bay in arch diamond getting chip damaged down to 28 and a lot of again. Pirate with a wonderful opening taking down Ryan. Now this is the only opening they can have. They are wrapping towards B side. Scorpion the only man left for lurk. And Tommy facing multiple enemies at a time gets taken out. Raiden is the only one at B. He has to do a lot of work right now. And he is going for the peak. Takes Tazwar down. And gets taken out by Barrett. Why was he crouching and moving? I mean, he was supposed to hide. If it won four, and still, Gamer Syndicate wants to retake and gets taken out by Diamond. Frag goes to game is in the side and right and somehow gets a frag with only 20 HP and he is still moving forward. Finds an up Kyoshima will be taking Raiden's and four. Raiden gets taken out by Tazwa and Matoma is still there. Uh apologies, you can continue. I am having a bit of an issue tonight and I have to I'm keep getting inter I'm keep getting interrupted and I'm also uh, interrupting you I apologize for that fine, fine. A three on three so trap coming in and Saki the off has to make that shot but he misses Tazwa will be taking the side for his own Rahan and the cubby maneuvering with the small gap finds one but couldn't make the kill and Domi on the other side coming from middle he will be pressuring shot he does know that one is onto pit from his teammates information and the rest of the two is the one that's troubling them will they be able to find them in time guys and will be taking one and pirate with the op takes down his head and that's seven to seven at high score line really that messy i would say this has been quite a good uh, showing from both teams but uh, i've seen a lack of executes on the t side but they're on seven rounds i guess you can excuse that 
and in this final round look at the CT side economy only a deagle two deagles one AOP one MP9 a 5-7 We'll take out some deep. You can just bear, bear on the deal, holding the mid crossing. Would be molly off, but not taking the Taj Mahal with the two kill. I do not know where it came from. But a kill is a kill, and he will take that every single day of the week. Yoshima will tag that. One dig one will not be able to take the second. Holy, you're tapping too, and Raiden will be taking out Tommy, the last man standing, gets one, gets two. And he swaps to the USP, and I'm not sure how much he can do with it. Reloads, yeah, that's something he should be doing, and he does get pirate, only with the man with the low HP. Only if he had a smoke, this would have been nice. He doesn't even have a kid as well. He has to go for the frag. Well, you're pretty patient game. Goku's for the peak and does he have time? I don't think so. This is going to be really close. Ooh, the last couple of seconds. 8 to 7 score line and Domia to the rescue for game of syndicate. Uh, that was a crazy triple kill coming from him. First round of the second half and Exodus did a couple of grenades which will do no damage to Gamer Syndicate because they are coming from second mid and Dami with the opening frag onto Scorpion. Does call a rotation from Diamond but will be taken out. Talbar with a wonderful kill but gets taken out immediately by Ryan. Oh, the blue man left coming from B side to be taken out. Pirate. Oh. Almost getting the shot three times, but not gonna get the fourth chance. Nine to seven, and we do have a uh, lead by Game of Syndicate. Finally, a two round lead. Uh, this was the first time they have a two round lead after the five round spree they had on their side. So uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I, I'm hoping a triple nade. I'm hoping for a triple nade. Or oh, one nade. Let's see. Let's see if they can. No, there are not three players there. The nade will not do any damage. They threw three nades and only done two damage. But Dom will get a triple kill. This is Mac 10. Uh, from us, uh, like Lil goes in from Kishi and Raihan will get the last kill or with the Mac 10. So good money. Look at Dom on 6.3k, 5.9 right now. He, he bought a smoke or a Molotov, I don't know. Mm, that's a smoke pirate, right? He still have grades coming from my Zodas. And. Well, you're the one man only at B. Stacking at A side, and this is going to be a B side for Gamer Syndicate. Retake is looking really. Ah, this retake will, should not be coming in. Deagle in hand. With a two CZ seventy five, I hate a CZ man. I weirdest recoil ever. Well, I, I, I do like the CZ as it's quite good in mid range and close range as well. Ooh. Ah, I hate 
<laughs> that just proves you why the CZ is bad. Don't use a CZ, my friend. I'm just kidding. You can use whatever you want to. And uh, in this moment, like in the chat, Ryan Azim saying question mark, question mark, question mark. Tassin Roman saying, Are you a monitor that I think the teammates smoke Kolona? I think there was a miscommunication about that. Big boy Stein's law saying, Grave bhai naki domi bhai e rupore famas chalai. What? I don't know what he meant. Domi bhai famas ne jitsi. Famas ni se jitsi. So uh, we have a supporter for Domi bhai that is from Gamer Syndicate side. So we have a lot of GS supporters. And Sakib will be lining up a smoke towards the middle. No, it's gonna be a nice smoke for Boiler. And look at this execute. They're just gonna go through and go through Arch. Gonna find Pirate open oh. in the open. Ryan will be taking down with the back and Ryu can, will be taking kills through the smoke on to Scorpion now is the only one defender. Tajbar will not be able to take the multi kill he needed to hold the line. A 4 on to retake this is not possible he need to be saving 12th round for Gamer Syndicate that has been a quick round a minute 15 left and the bomb will be going down. Well, that took 35 seconds. And the difference they're making Gamer Syndicates. This is going to cost Exodus in the later rounds. I mean, they are not good in their economy and they're losing rounds really quickly and the defense is faltering really quick and they have to be a bit solid if they want to climb up the boards. And if they don't, definitely the next round will be Gamer Syndicate. So it's going to be, I would say, 16 to 9 for favoring Gamer Syndicates if you go with what's going right now. I think Exodus to focus on is their individual play. Scorpion is on two kills and 15 deaths. He is not having a game. He's not having anything right now, only two kills. He needs to be stepping up for the defense uh, if they hope to be uh, back in this game because everyone else is pulling their weight. Uh, Scorpion is having a bad game. And uh, it is not a problem when you're winning, but when you are losing, the flames will be, might just go on to you, not will. It might just go on to maybe you're playing a bad position, maybe you didn't have a good D side, maybe you're playing the support. But two kills should not be your KD ratio. You need to be performing better at this level. And uh, performing is Scorpion right now. He has a chance. He will get the one. Proving me wrong, but only getting the one. And traded out double kill by Saki. Beautiful entries. And the B side has fallen. It's going to be a 13th. Just like that. Oh no, they're going for the retake. I don't know if this is a good idea because they need to be saving these weapons for the next gun round and no, look at Tazwar, he's falling back right now. Yeah, just like I said, and because of that, look at Ryuken, he has a good flank, he should be taking out the first. Not during that kill, that is a bad spray. That will let Exodus save these weapons. And the AK upgrade for Pyra as well. Free upgrade for him. Big boy Steinslow saying W plus M1 gang. That is a TF2 reference. Hopefully it is. And I love the TF2 reference. That is a game. 13 years for TF2. Shout out to Team Fortress 2. Ornob Sorkar saying Shabha Shamne e Shab Boiluna. Replying to Tassin. Tassin saying plays RDR2 1080p high. I don't know man what that means. I think that's a uh, inside joke. And. <laughs> Exodus saving those three weapons has let them buy in this round too. So Exodus has a better chance of winning. But look at this, another execute. Fast round coming in from GS. Tommy leading the way this time and first on the chopping box is Oliver. Running into, uh, what is that, library. With the knife out and the opera goes down. Tommy with a double kill. No, not really. That The first kill was Ryukens. Tommy with another entry kill onto the side. And pirate will be just taken out like just like that. And this A defense has been exploited by Gamer City. Scorpion finally getting a kill onto Kiyoshima. Two on four, and they need to go for this retake because they're not they don't really have any more rounds to spare. Diamonds. Oh no, Diamond is going to run away with the AWP. So they are choosing to save again. Exodus will be conceding round number 14. Gamer Syndicate has a very good hold of this game. Big boy Steins was saying Spark by a kill Churi Which one is Spark by? Is it Domi or Kiyoshima? I don't really know. Diamond with a nice flick to Ryuken and he is under attack by Domi. 
might just spot him. Yes, he's dead through the wall. Then Ollie will actually save him. And good play by Scorpion to take down Sakiv as well. 14th round, but probably doesn't really matter on the T side so far. But the weapons saved and carried over by the CTs will matter. And they should have one more Byron before they hit match point. Saving from round one. Nice. Nice one, guys. Round number 22, the final third of this game. Do you think Exodus can hold hold this line? Because Game City have been looking solid so far. Yeah, they are. And it seems that they have that double up setup right now. If only these magic. But. I don't think not much. It's going to be very difficult to catch up to double digit. But as long as Tazwar and Oliu does their work like they did right now, the opening kills, things might just go a bit of it to this way. And Oliu gets taken down in the meantime. And somehow they still lose the B side. I mean, how? They didn't play in front of the smoke, they're playing for retake and Kyushima will punish Scorpion. He's been playing the B side and the one round he goes to A, they go to B. He's not having a good game at all. He's not being favored by luck. And Raihan is in a bad spot, might be just taken out. Pirate will be taken. One out, Kyushima will trade it out. Ran with a kill of his own, Pirate with another kill. Only two bullets. Only two bullets on the entire weapon? Or on the clip? No, on that clip, but he did. Change it to up, he is going to miss it. And that will cost him the round. He cannot save this weapon either. He will die with the bomb. Kyoshima has won this round for Gamer Syndicate. It's gonna be match point. Seven now and match point for Gamer Syndicate. They've been playing phenomenal on their T side, not losing a single round. Kyoshima playing with fire down to 50 HP, but does eight should do damage? No. Pirate will move back in the meantime. Ryuken will get an opening kill into Archana. A double kill coming in from Raihan as well. Good, de uh, good attack. Now you are lagging. How this man? Not having a good time. Tommy will just put him out of his misery. Only will only be able to get one right hook and we'll trade it out. It's all on the pirate or one on four. Uh do you think he can? He, technically he only needs four bullets, four headshots will win this game. Yeah, but I think that would be just Oh he made a name, made an argument for the clutch, but a four on one is just too much for him to take and it's going to be 60 to 7 a flawless T side from Gamer Syndicate and they will win Inferno. First time we've seen Inferno ever. <laughs> oh my god, this has been not as bad as the previous games, but I mean the previous Inferno games, not games from these teams, but uh, the game has been uh, won by Gamer Syndicate quite convincingly. We will be joined by one of the winning team members. Hello, Sakif. Yes, brother. Alhamdulillah. Hello, Chen Bhaiya. Hey, to bhai, asi wale ki khobar. Alhamdulillah. Uh, congratulations on your win. Specific kotha beshi kicho bolar nae. How was this game for you guys? Uh, I should say like as usual, inferno match. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we are thinking about the uh, you know the regular our basic strategies and all that but later on we changed something uh, to more like in rush play and that paid off 
as you can see yeah that's nothing was... really special just basic inferno match it has been a good inferno game from you guys i will say that and the yeah. execution that was a, a fast execute the boiler smoke and going towards arch and wrapping around to it that was a very good strategy i will say that as well and that has also helped you so the t side it has paid off i guess you are practicing it very well and as uh, you have won you have not dropped any rounds you won flawlessly on your t side yeah 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 that was a very good uh, showing from you guys as well. And talk to me about the CT side that was back and forth for a while. Where did you find the gap to exploit? Uh, in CT side, we thought about playing uh, aggressive in banana, but uh, in some rounds, it didn't pay it off. As you can see, uh, our teammate died and we had to rotate. So um, that was uh, like uh, for a couple of rounds, it was not uh, like really good for us but later on we stacked three uh, three uh, uh, players in a site and we got uh, three or four rounds yes so so the change of setup has helped yeah yeah you. and uh, one last thing to say that are you guys expecting uh, are you guys practicing anything uh, anything else other than inferno because in this tournament everybody is everyone playing, playing inferno. inferno yeah uh, we are also playing uh, three or four maps as well but uh, inferno is uh, your strong uh -huh, yeah it's, inferno is our strongest so we try to pick the inferno that is that is uh, ex that is acceptable because you want to play your best map. so uh congratulations yeah, yeah. on your win again thank you for joining us thank you for your time okay and thank you very much uh, thank you and uh hopefully you can join us again in your next game if you win sure, sure. and uh thank you for everyone who's watching hope you guys enjoyed this inferno game and uh gamer syndicate has won this game against exodus lineage 16 to 7 uh, who join us tomorrow for another game of Inferno Simulator pre op Division 2. <laughs> I've been Mantis, he has been Hacksmith, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.